So I've been uh, I've been promising to make some tutorials for the last couple of days and uh, haven't got around to it. Um, I, it's just more fun to make plugins than it is to show people how to use them. But uh, I'm going to take a few minutes tonight and go over a couple of these plugins and uh, show you how uh, they pan out on the Ulm RGB. Uh, and hopefully you get the idea how the launch pad works as well. Um, so I've taken the liberty of, of starting a project here and I just have four tracks. Um, the first track actually has my vocal coming through on it right now. Uh, the second one has an LCD uh, so we can see what's going on. There we go. Uh, the third one is empty. We're going to put some monomodular plugins there and the fourth one has a drum rack that I drug in from another project. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, I'm going to show you how to use Boeing. It's it's about the simplest monomodular plugin there is. There's not a whole lot to it and not a whole lot to figure out. Um, so I dropped it on to uh, the MIDI track, track 3, and you can see it down here in the corner. Um, basically all the settings on the on the front of the plugin are uh, note assignments, duration, velocity, um, and you'll notice that they came up in the device editor on the bottom so I can actually change the note assignments there if I want to. Um, let's take them back where they were. And uh, so the first thing I want to do in order to access this plugin is hit the Gary button and go to monomodular mode. And uh, if I start the transport, I can do that. A shortcut is the when you're in monomodular mode, you can hold down the shift button. You'll notice this button turns green up here if you have the RGB. Hit that and it starts play. Um, this would be stop. Play. Stop. Okay, so we've got that. Um, you notice that the rest of the screen changed as well. The top row is uh, is the plugin assignment. That's which plugin you're actually controlling. You can control eight plugins with Monomod. Uh, the second row is a channel assignment. And that we'll get to that later. Uh, this is grid navigation, and obviously the area of the grid that you're on is the brighter section, and the bottom row becomes the key assignments, uh, not the key in the plugin, but they do different things depending upon what plugin you're using. Uh, in this particular plugin, the last four are timing, quarter, eight, sixteen, triplet, and the first four actually control uh, what type of grid you're on. So if I hit that, it's a 64, and you'll notice down here that turns it to 256, that turns it to 128 wide and 128 tall. <clears throat> Um, you can make something happen by hitting a button. And let's start playing again. And they start moving. But they're not really doing anything, they're just blinking. Well, that's because we don't have this, uh, the output of this plugin assigned to anything. So I'm going to go here, and this is just one way of doing things. But I'm going to go to the output of that media plugin and assign it to the drum track right next to it. And assign input. Now we hear something. So every time one of these little uh <clears throat> these little blinky lights gets to the bottom, then it triggers a note. And that note is over here. So if I want to change what that note is. And for instance, we'll change this one. Should be a bunch of stuff at the bottom of this. That's terribly interesting. Um, let's speed things up a little bit, and I can do that by holding down shift. So I just increase the time.
So, you probably get the idea of what's going on here. So again, I can change the timing and make it go. And if I really need to go faster than that, then I can go here to the timing multiplayer. Okay, so you see what's going on there.